Welcome to our tutorial on how to use the closet section of the interactive, which you can access from the menu along the top. Today we'll review how to efficiently navigate, prioritize, and customize the items in the collection or collections you own. The closet contains a list of pieces from all of your collections. They're sorted by all by default, but you can easily navigate to the other categories to see specific pieces. You can also switch between Detail View, which shows a photo of the piece and additional details that you can customize, or List View to see more entries at a time. If you are looking for something specific, you can search for it by name. If you've nicknamed a piece you've customized, you can also search for it by selecting Nickname and typing in the nickname. Alternatively, you can use the various sorting options, like alphabetical, whether you have an item, whether you need an item, if it's an essential, or if it's a piece that you have prioritized. If you've created a separate closet, let's say for a spouse, child, or vacation, you can find that here. To learn more about using the Add a Closet feature, please check out our How to Use the Add a Closet feature video. You can also use the filters along the left-hand side of the page to further filter down the pieces displayed in your closet. Let's go back to the detailed view to see more features. If you own more than one outfit collection and want to see just the pieces from a specific collection, you can use the Outfit Collections filter on the left-hand side. Next, select the collections you want to see. Another option for this would be to create separate closets for your collections. For example, if you want all of your pieces in their own closet, simply tap Add a Closet, name your closet, select the collections you want in that separate closet, and tap Save. When doing this, be sure that you're choosing Use Existing Pieces in My Closet to move the items from these collections into your new closet. One of the first things we recommend you do in the closet is to mark the pieces that you already have. To do this, simply go through and check the box next to all of the pieces that you own. Let's do this for our tops. We'll navigate to Tops and begin checking the boxes. For a more in-depth tutorial on this step, you can watch the How to Check Items off your Capsule Wardrobe Checklist video. Once you've done this, you can prioritize the items you don't own but would like to purchase by marking them as prioritized using the toggle next to each item. If you would like to plan for a specific season, navigate to the filters along the left-hand side and select the Season filter to filter the pieces utilized in just that season. Let's do this for our shoes in the summer. We'll select Summer and navigate to Shoes. Now we're seeing just the shoes that are used in the summer months. We can go ahead and prioritize a couple of these options. Once prioritized, you can sort your closet with the Prioritized filter for easy access during your online or in-store shopping. The closet also helps you to see what pieces Front Fighter recommends as essentials. They're denoted by the yellow star next to the name, but you can also select Essentials from the Sort By feature at the top to see the full list. You can then use the category filters along the top to see what pieces are essential under each category. As you're deciding what pieces you'd like to purchase for the collection, you can make notes to help you while shopping. To do this, tap the Edit button and make a note about the store color, style, or whatever you'd like to keep in mind while shopping. You can also add a nickname to help you remember what you're looking for. Once you've entered the information, tap Update, and you'll see the notes listed. To add additional options for an item, Click the pink plus sign. From here, 
you can type the item's name and search for it. Select the item and tap Add New. We'll fill in the details we want to keep in mind and add a nickname. Then we'll hit Submit. We can see that additional piece has been added and back in the closet, we can see both entries for the neutral dress we'd like to purchase. For comprehensive details about each piece, simply tap Details. You'll see information about whether the item is essential, the seasons it's used in, recommended colors, sleeve length. If the piece is recommended in a non-neutral color or is a printed item, there will be special notes about what other pieces it should coordinate with. There's notes and alternative information here, how you would adapt or adjust for maternity or nursing options, and information on fit. You can also check the example piece shopping info to find information about the specific Front Fighters example piece. Tap outfit ideas using this piece to view the outfits that incorporate this item. And you can get styling inspiration by tapping Others Wearing This Piece, which shows you how other members have styled this item. Let's head back to the closet to see a few more details. Once you're ready to customize the closet by adding photos of your own items, you can do so directly from the closet. Let's customize our neutral shorts. Once we find the neutral shorts, we'll tap Edit. From here, you can upload your photo, crop and remove the background, customize the details about the item, and hit Update. Once you've customized an item with multiple options, you can choose between them when customizing an outfit. Let's see this in action by navigating to the Outfits page. And we'll find an outfit that uses our chambray shirt. We'll tap My Pieces and then hit Customize. From here, we can select between our two chambray shirts that we've added to our closet. We'll tap chambray shirt, and then we can select between our light chambray or our dark chambray shirt. To add another version of an item, you can do so right here. Simply tap Add New, upload your new version, and tap Submit. Let's select our dark chambray and tap Apply. And now we can save this outfit using this version of our chambray shirt. Let's go back to the closet to look at one last feature. The closet has a bulk select feature here that allows you to select multiple pieces at the same time. From here, you can tap Remove Background to crop and remove the background of pieces you've customized, or you can choose to add these pieces to a new closet by tapping Edit Closet Location. And that's an overview of the closet within the interactive where you can organize, customize, and prioritize your items.